Hey, I'm Bunny, and welcome. So, I have a question that is quite boggling that probably a lot of people are going to be like, Huh. Yeah. That's actually pretty interesting. Why did I do that? Everybody knows what these guys are. Trigger rockers. We all have had these since the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 and the GameCube. Who invented these then? Not Microsoft. No. Not Sony. No. Who invented these guys? <laughs> Nintendo did. With the GameCube. The GameCube was actually made to incorporate these guys. Yes. That's where we got these guys. Nintendo made these guys. They were the ones that made the sliders on the GameCube controllers. And they actually had a physical button when you actually went. <laughs> but it's strange. Why did Nintendo decide to ditch that idea and make only physical buttons when they had that idea of making rocker buttons why did they ditch it compared to Microsoft and Sony incorporating into their newer consoles not to mention that uh, Guys, if you don't understand this, these don't have physical buttons. They don't have any buttons. When you push like this, you're not actually pushing any buttons. It's called split sensing technology. Just this senses that it's clicked. Because there's a slide sensor inside this rocker that once it senses a point of interest it will register as a click but there's no click so if I slam this onto the bottom what's there on the bottom nothing there's absolutely nothing compared to the GameCube that when you rock push the rocker all the way down you can actually feel an actual button so it had two buttons in one system, but this only has one. Not to mention a lot of game controllers of Microsoft, PlayStation, and all these third parties don't actually have any clue about how these function. And when you actually push these down, you're hitting dead space, which means you're actually putting stress on the buttons when you're slamming down your fingers because there's no back wall to take the beat not very good for these kind of buttons or should I say sliders or rockers whatever you want to call them again why did Nintendo ditch their idea for the rocker sliders that's the biggest question because again, Nintendo made these first. No other company did. So these aren't dedicated to PlayStation or Microsoft. They are dedicated to Nintendo. The same thing as this layout right here, these, these joysticks, that's not Microsoft. This layout is from GameCube controllers. So this joystick, the D-pad, this joystick, that's GameCube. This button layout, whatever. But still, the joyst the offset joysticks, that's why when they went to the Switch, they were able to just reincorporate their button layout to this. Because this is their layout. This is not Xbox. This is their layout.
and then PlayStation has their layout with the dual sticks on the bottom. That's their layout. So again, the question remains, why did Nintendo ditch the rockers for physical push buttons? Because supposedly a lot of people like how these have sensitivity and basically they're a joystick in button format, even though they're not buttons. These aren't buttons, guys. There are no physical buttons here. These are not physical buttons. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and such forth. These aren't buttons. They're just little sliders. So they're the same thing as joysticks. They have a sensor, the exact same thing as a slide, a joystick does. So they have the same technology, just in these little rockers. So they, when you push them down, like I said previously, they don't have physical buttons. So they only can sense a certain point, but they actually sense a click point of interest. Same thing like this. If I click this button, that's instantaneous clickage. But this has to go to a certain point before it registers as a click. Because there's no click click as what a GameCube controller has when you push it all the way down. It actually physically clicks. And that senses that it's a boom. Boom. But the question still remains. Why did Nintendo ditch the idea and the other two companies decide to say, huh? We'll keep this idea because there's got to be a reason why Nintendo ditched it and these other two stupid companies decide to say hey we're gonna keep this it looks cool but Nintendo knew that this was not a great idea so they ditched this that's the biggest reason of a question that remains the biggest mystery in the history for gaming ability is why these are not on Nintendo systems. Anyways, see you guys later. Peace out.